Hello friends, Hello. my name is Dane Miller. Oh, you son of a bitch. And I'm now Spain, and we're your fuck buddies. That's what you get. <laughs> we're, we're a dating and sex advice podcast where you take your sticky sexy situations and turn them into sexy sticky situations. Oh, fuck you. Hey, uh, so guys, how are you doing this week? Oh, finally an answer. <laughs> um, that's, oh, that's really interesting. Can you believe that? I, I mean, I don't. It's a little vulgar, but well, yeah. thanks for sharing. I think we... Oh, but that's interesting. That's sexy. Mm. Okay, I I can see where you're coming from with the first thing. Um, you're going to have to shut up now because this is our show, though. So Yeah, like seriously, it was meant to be a rhetorical question. Yeah. No, no, no. Seriously, like you're we're the funny ones here. Shut shut up. Security, can we get this guy out of here? Fuck's sake. Yeah. All right, you're done now. You, you're done. Okay, fucking... Well, sorry, guys. <sighs> well, how are you, Dane? No, this fucker shut up. Oh, really? So interesting. <laughs> uh, how's your week going? Uh, I I don't know. I can't believe it's Wednesday already. It I is. mean, Monday. Monday. Wink. Um, I thought it was going to be pretty hungover today because it was my company staff party. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, and I got, I got pretty toasted, but I woke up, chugged like four liters of water and Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go. Yeah, you know, you seem you seem fresh. You seem feisty. Yeah, even you're wearing a bright shirt and real pants. We're both wearing real pants today. It's weird. I can't like stretch my legs to s- straddle this thing. It's <laughs> like I'm being pushed away from the mic. But, but yeah, here we are. Here we are. Just for you guys. Yeah. Uh, you got a question? Oh, man, I have so many questions. I don't even know where to go. Um, there was such a. Uh, resounding call for the soundboard to come back. So I don't think that was ever true. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Girlfriend, 30-year-old female, will be moving into my 25-year-old male house in a month. How can I make her feel like it's her home too? As the title says, my girlfriend will be moving into my mortgage property in January. She's already been staying with me most days each week for a number of months now, but I just want to make her feel more at home when she moves in permanently. I've already suggested we put some money together and go shopping for some house decorations, etc. And I've completely cleared out a wardrobe and some drawers in the bedroom for her to keep her clothes in. What else can I do to make her feel as comfortable as possible? Here's an idea. Stop stressing that it's your house. Yeah, fucking asshole. <laughs> Jesus. My mortgaged property? Yeah. Pfft. Swillis 93? Disappointing. Oops. <laughs> Just hit the table. Yeah, fuck, that's how mad I am. See, I don't know. I've never had anyone... Like, I've lived with... Two of my girlfriends. But you guys now. moved in together. But yeah, every time we did, it would be like like the first time we were in college residence and then got a place together. And then uh, like with me and Amanda now, we had our separate places, were dating, and then moved in. So yeah. it's like we've always gone in on neutral ground. That's fair. Um, yeah. my I, I lived with my ex at her place really briefly. But it was so briefly that we didn't really make any effort to make it feel like a home for both of us. I just was, you know, and then we moved into a place together like pretty quickly after that. Um, And again, it was a place we moved into together. And not only that, but the people who we'd moved in after just kind of were like, hey, you want like really nice couches and really good like, like they basically furnished the whole place for us. It's fucking great. So it was, we didn't even need to buy stuff necessarily ourselves apart from, you know, some stuff, but uh it was great. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this guy's already off to a really good start, like setting aside specific spaces for them and buying things together. Yeah. Seems I like would, a- I would say, like, the big thing here would be uh, unteaching language. Like, like stop referring it to as your house. Um, and, like, it's going to be hard because, like, it is your house and you've also been calling it that forever, however long you've been living mm. there. Um, and, like, if she's ever like, oh, where's... Where's this? Be like, oh, it's in my kitchen cupboard. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. trying to avoid that kind of thing. Because like, even, like, subconsciously, that's going to make you feel less like it's your place. Yeah. And, like, it's going to be hard to do mm-hmm. the way that, like, you try to retrain any sort of, like, pattern or speech. So, I mean, like, it might be worth it if it does, like, you know, try to... try to. I know, I've got really hot in here. Like, why am I wearing this? Um, 
if if you notice you were doing it, maybe just like bring it up. Oh shit, the lean's back, and be like, "Hey, I'm really sorry. I, I like I'm I'm trying to break that pattern. Mm-hmm. This is your house. Uh, if I ever say anything, oh now that, it's her like, house. Like, like possessive, uh, just ignore it, and that's me. So it's hers now. Wow. Yeah, you he has to sign over the mortgage. <laughs> no, that that's really true, and I think it's the kind of thing that you won't necessarily know you're doing unless you take the time to think about it. I also think like. You need to make sure that because everyone has their own habits in their own houses, like things go here and this goes there and like dishes go here and like everyone has their own routine, their own habit. But like when you're living together, that's not the rule necessarily. You know what I mean? Because it's also her place. So she has an equal say in what happens. So like you can't be like, that's not where that goes. You can be like, hey, are we going to, you know, like you can reestablish new things, but you can't just be like, no, because it isn't your place anymore. Right. Yep. And I think that it, that's the most important thing is to step out of like that ownership role and that, you know. Yeah. I would also say like Even take like, some take some time and let her do her own thing. Like I know it's it's really fun to be living with someone and like like I love being able to sit on the couch and watch TV with Amanda, but um it's also kind of nice if like if I'm on my computer and like doing some writing or whatever and she's in her room doing whatever or our room and doing whatever or like if she's on the couch and watching tv or whatever you know what i mean it's like it's good to be like oh this is our space so we can independently do things yeah elsewhere like mm-hmm. you know what i mean it'd be different like like if if you guys weren't living together and she came over it would be rude for you to go be rude if your friends are like hey play fallout 76 she can do her own thing yeah um exactly like you you're not going to, if your girlfriend's over and you don't live together, you're not going to be like, hey, I'm just going to like yeah. watch YouTube videos without you. Bye. Like entertain yourself now. Yeah. Um, but like living together, you got to have that freedom. So like I would uh, give her that opportunity to, if she wants to fucking marathon fucking friends for the eighth time, just let her and like go do your own thing. Yeah. I feel like that, that'll, that's the kind of thing that'll happen naturally. Yeah. I feel like when you move in together, it's really exciting. You probably won't get that for a few days. But don't be afraid of it when it does. Yeah. It's more like encourage her to do her own, you know what I mean? Like, cause she might still feel like she's a guest and therefore has to sort of, you know, be entertained by you or be, you know, mm-hmm. like with you at all times. Um, just because that's usually how it works when you don't live together. All right. I think, I think that would solve. Just yeah. fucking I think pinned it to the wall. Yep. Um, Sex wall. You ready for a more challenging question? Mm. This one comes from uh, Reddit user Terrible Debate, and she asks... About to have one? My boyfriend and I were alone at my family's home. Things got heated up between us, and I started giving him a blowjob. I was kneeling, he was standing. I was topless, and he had his pants down. Mm. Then my nine-year-old brother suddenly walked in on us. Apparently, his school day ended earlier. He wanted to say hello to me. Unfortunately, my boyfriend and him didn't... Or, my boyfriend and I didn't hear him. Now I'm scared that we traumatized him. I also don't want him to tell our parents. They know I have a boyfriend and they probably suspect that I'm sexually active with him, but it would be so embarrassing if he told them. Should I talk to my brother? And if so, what should I say? Oh, God. You know, first blowjob I ever got, my brother almost walked in on it. Like, literally, I, like, last minute heard him, because we were in the attic, I heard him just kind of, like, coming up the last spot of stairs, like, shoved her aside, put a pillow over myself and just kind of like chill pants still just below the butt dick out pillow <laughs> you couldn't see but god damn it if i'd been a few seconds yeah too slow i might have had this very same dilemma okay well that's great no what it's would, not well what, it is great that it never happened what would you say to him see i think it's different because i'm a guy and he's a guy yeah like i don't like i think he'd be like oh and i'd be like well and it would just been like weird but like he wouldn't have told my parents also he was a little older he would have been about like 12 maybe oh okay you know like 12 and 9 very different yeah um i i want to know what the kid's reaction was like did he come in and just be like oh hey and they were like hey and he like walked off or did he go like ah! and like run away like because yeah. that's very important because he's nine he might not really know what's going on i don't know he probably does but like his yeah, reaction I feel like in this day and age, this. I feel like nine isn't as young as we think it is. Yeah, maybe he's seen like seventy-eight blowjobs by now. He's like, ugh, whatever. Yeah, like he's just desensitized. He, he was probably notice. just like bad technique. He's like, this isn't Overwatch. I don't yeah. know what do nine-year-olds do? <laughs> Minecraft, Fortnite. 
that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, that's the thing. I think his reaction really factors in. And also, like, how close they are. Because, like, you know the way sometimes you've got that little, like, shit fucking yeah. sibling that's like, fuck you, I'm telling mom. And other times you're, like, super close. And if you were like, I don't want to get in trouble, he'd be like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. I, yeah, I know. I, I feel like, yeah, there are missing pieces now that I think about it. Um, I think you approach it, like, you, you got to broach it one way or another. And just yeah. be like, oh, hey, like, sorry, I didn't know you were home the other day. And, like, see if he goes, oh, yeah, no worries. Or if he's like, mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you can be like, Ugh. Like, you kind of got to base it off their reaction, I think. And like, because you, if they don't know how big of a deal it is yet, you don't want to make it a super big deal. Yeah. But and, like, you it, should know, like... Yeah. Just by looking, like if you guys lock eyes, you will know immediately how he feels about this. Yeah. You should, you know what I mean? Like if, if it's locking if it's, eyes with your mouth around. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like it would be like if he's avoided you for the past couple of days, yeah. then like, yeah, he's weirded out by it. Yeah. But like, did you not talk immediately after this? I feel like unless you literally like he walked in, walked out and dick still a mouth, you type this question. Like, surely you have a better indicator at this point. Did you not talk to him about this at all? I mean... Did you just be like, oh, well, we got to keep going, and then we'll watch a movie, and then later on you're like, oh, he's in bed now. Oh, well, like, <laughs> surely you would have been It'll like... It'll come around. Hey, sorry, like, anything, right? I need more. But I think you, you really got to gauge his reaction. Just be like, oh, I'm really sorry, like, we didn't realize, like, haha, I guess you, you walked in while we were, like, doing grown-up stuff. Yeah. And yeah, then, my, Like, nine's old enough to sort of, like, we'll start have an, introducing... Like, just like sexual concepts to people mm-hmm. like like even just like if it's just as something as simple as like hey so like you know we care about each other we're in a relationship together and, yeah. and sometimes we do things it's very similar to kissing mm-hmm. um but but like for adults um yeah. or for like you know more mature people you know what i mean mm-hmm. it's sort of like that way he doesn't equate you know kissing and blowjobs as like the same, the yeah, same yeah. level of of intimacy and like yeah, kind of go from there and see. Like, mm-hmm. if you guys more questions, answer them. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, and like, you know what I mean? And, I you think, know, yeah, age if, appropriately. If you make it a big deal, it's going to be a bigger deal. But if you're just kind of like, oh, you know, like, sorry, walked in, didn't, didn't hear you. But like, you know, obviously we were just doing some adult stuff, whatever. And like, again, yeah, if he's questioning his follow up, whatever. And at one point, be like, look, I think I'd appreciate it. Like, just don't tell mom and dad. I think they'd be weird about. But like, and then be yeah. like, don't worry, I'll pay the favor back. Like, one day when you have a girl friend or a boyfriend and like yeah make it like a bonding moment between you guys and like uh i got your back i appreciate if you have my you know like yeah and like i feel like getting a sex talk from your sibling it would be more enjoyable than getting one from your parents you know what i mean like you guys are sort of like on the same sort of like power level mm-hmm. even though you're older like there's it's there's a much different gap between like sibling and parents yeah and, and also like, like having like, that awkward like and like how many parents talk about blowjobs yeah like, you know what i mean like it, for me it was always just like you know, be safe. Here's a condom. I got awkwardly handed a book once. It was like, there we go. It was a sex book. It was like, cool. How to sex. Basically, sex for dummies. Yeah, it was, but it was like this really, like, I, it was probably one day got handed. I think it was published in like the 40s. It was so bad. It was, it was <laughs> really funny. Uh, and now I'm doing the podcast about sex. Yeah. <laughs> but I um, still thinks you can't get pregnant if you stand up and have sex. Yeah, it's fucking gravity, man. They invented They can't that. swim upstream. They invented gravity like 50 years ago. <laughs> um and like I also think it it could be like when you're a kid, you want to be seen as grown up and like if your sibling is like treating you as a grown up and kind of like letting you like giving you the respect and like giving you this like grown up kind of like one-on-one like actually like bringing them up to your level and being like, "Look, we're going to talk about this like" Yeah. I think you'll probably feel pretty cool as a nine-year-old, you know what I mean? I think For sure. that's going to be a lot better than just being like, ah! you Yeah. Know? So I feel like there, there are ways to handle this, uh, depending on how long it's been since the incident and this question, and this question and listening to us solve it. Uh, you could be fucked, but... Yeah, I imagine, depending on how long ago this was, it's like, it's already come to a head. Yeah. No pun intended. But pick one or two. I'll take a one, please. Okay. I don't know. Oh, this fucker deleted it. I, I remember most of it. I don't know what to do once I bring a girl to my room. Long story short, he was at a party, met a girl. Uh, they were chatting. Things are really, like, things were going really well. At one point, they went up to his room to continue the conversation. She she sat in the bed. He sat on, like, at his desk. And, like, they chatted. And at one point, she was like, hey, come join me on the bed. And he did. And they chatted. And it kept going. And it kept going. And then she was like, well, 
I think I have to go now. And he was like, why didn't I do anything? Yeah. So I don't know what to do once I bring a girl to my room. Easy. You sit her down on the bed? Dick her the mattress. You just fucking drop your pants and go, what do you think about that? Like my nine-year-old brother's on his way. Took a look at it. Steven, get in here! Quick. <laughs> your brother's got something to show you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think like, first fucking point, they sit down the bed. Sit down the bed with them. Yeah. Don't sit at the fucking desk. What are you doing? I get it in the sense that like, everyone's a little more aware of consent now and everyone's a little more like on edge mm. um, about stuff like that and like not misconstruing. Yeah. Uh, and so like, you know what? I'm not even upset that this guy went and sat at his desk. Um, but when she invites you to join her on the bed, yeah, like that's a but pretty like, let's, standard. Let's be fair. Sitting on a bed beside someone is not a bad thing to do. Yeah, no, for sure. But like, uh, but like, so you can if people who are inexperienced with the stupid bullshit, which I think we're probably going to talk about later. Um, there, if if you don't know, like all the like like bullshit about consent and when I say bullshit about consent I mean like people talking about like you you can't do like guys can't do anything anymore mm, without yeah. being you know what I mean like if that's in the back of your head as well like I get it especially like when you if you're just completely inexperienced and this is like sort of the first thing I assume this person is fairly young um based on the question or like you know what I mean like I or fairly so. inexperienced yes that's true um so where you're coming from is basically like you think it's good that they're at least like worried about yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I honestly read it more like they were nervous and they just sat on the desk. But either way, yeah, cool. Like, be nervous. It makes sense. Be aware of people's consent, obviously. Um, we can't say that enough, but apparently we have to. Uh, fucking world. But, um, what, you know, what what do you do? Here, So the first thing I would do is... Uh, and I'm going to play this from the part where she invites him to the bed. Yeah. Um, like, I wouldn't sit there, like, arms on the lap kind of yeah. thing. I would, because I one would, that's actually unnatural. I would put my arms sort of, like, behind her, but not touching her. Yeah. You know what I mean? To sort of create the illusion of closeness. Um, and that way, um, if she... If she starts if backing she, up, then yeah, if you're she, getting a pretty good idea. If she that, uh, wants to reciprocate that closeness, she can either move closer to you, she can, like, put her hand... I'm mm -hmm. closer to you, you know what I mean? Lean into your arm. There's a bunch of things that, you, like, you can then watch her body language for, yeah. for signals. And, like, if you sit down beside her and, like, kind of have that arm back and over and, like, you're near and she shuffles off a bit, yeah, then, like, pay attention. You need to pay start paying attention to people's body language. Body language is so key. And how they act to how you act. And, like, if she doesn't move or if she gets a little closer, that's probably a good sign. Yeah. And, like, there's no harm in literally asking and being like, hey, do you mind if I kiss you? Yeah, absolutely. Like no like one, no one in the world has ever been like, "Oh, they fucking did that." Like, no, yeah, no one cares. It's not cinematic. It's not scripted by fucking Aaron Sorkin. But yeah, but it's it's nice, it's, and it's it's good for you because you like all you need to do is make that choice to say that. And if they say, "I don't want to," boom, you're done. If you yeah. say that and they say yes, then you know there's no like leaning in and awkwardly being like shit, 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 shit. Blah, blah, blah. However, if you want to do that, like you can tell or hopefully you'll be able to tell like if you're like if you have a hand touching them or like on their arm or like whatever again be natural don't be fucking creepy and like they let you continue that touch or like they're not shying away they're probably pretty cool with you trying to kiss them yeah you um know? i'm gonna i'm gonna let you know a little dane miller secret Ooh. um the best way to see if someone wants to kiss you when you're looking at them make eye contact to them and then spend a little, like, a second or two seconds, look at their lips. And, like, make sure they see you look at their lips and look back up at them. If they want to kiss you, almost nine times out of ten, they're going to do the same thing. Um, And that's, like, and that's your opening. You know what I mean? That's like, fair. if you, it, it's, like, I've never missed on that. Yeah. Um, same for me. Like, and if it's, I... And it's, it's, it's almost like a nonverbal ask. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're, you're looking at them. You make connection. Even if it's, like one of those things where like maybe you should have said something but you don't have you know what I mean like an, an awkward silence there is kind of it builds that nervous energy mm -hmm. which is almost always like necessary for a really good first kiss yeah um, and also like if you're not literally lunging at them if you're coming in and you're tilting your head they should have time to be like oh sorry no or whatever yeah. so again even if you don't go like hey do you mind if I kiss you and you're not literally pouncing on them if you start going in for a kiss they have the time to say no. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, there, there are other things that you can put your hand on the back of their neck. Um, or the front of their neck and fucking yeah. <laughs> choke them. Don't, um, don't do that. 
and it's you know it's it's a it's a signal that oh you're gonna you're gonna come in and they're like again watch her if she if there's no sort of uh pull away from that then you're probably good yeah and um, i will say that like two things are really key like you do need to go for it at some point whether it's asking whether it's like getting that like touch that sounds creepy but you know what i mean yeah. or like you know leaning in for the kiss like those are things that they're scary you need to be able to do that and you need to be able to to build up the courage and know that you got to do it right but secondly you also need to be cool if it doesn't work out yeah like if you misread the signals and you go in for a kiss and they're like oh sorry don't be a fucking shit about it don't be a weirdo just be like oh sorry i guess i misconstrued that like laugh it off like yeah. be cool and like fuck it there's plenty of fish in the sea you actually went out there and you put yourself out and you weren't and most importantly you weren't shit about it afterwards yeah that's the important part like that is so important it's the most important part and the other thing is like again it's it sucks that I have to uh, even say this, but like, just because she's let you kiss you or kiss her, mm -hmm. uh, doesn't mean that's leading anywhere else. You know what I mean? No. Like, it could very it well just be even... a kiss. It could be a makeout session. You could maybe get naked, and like, at no point in time is that like a signal that sex is going to happen or yeah. that she is like consented to sex. Um, all sort of like the next step up still requires uh, another level of consent. Yeah. So like. She might have been cool with you kissing, and that might be, you know, as far as she wants to take it. Yeah, she might not even want another kiss. Yeah. And that's fine. Like, she doesn't owe you shit. Or he. Yeah. If, you know, you're swapping around. Um, Or they. Yeah. It's uh, it's one of those things where, like, uh, the first yes isn't... It's not like, whoop, do what it, you want. Yeah, it isn't like a check mark on all the categories. No, it's, it's, it's a yes to that specific thing in yeah, that specific and, like, moment. I feel like we could do a whole episode on, like, breaking can, it down into getting... All the year. way to sex. Yeah. Um, but just, just like, be aware and don't be a fucking asshole. Yeah. And... And have fun. And just, yeah, be cool with each other and, and, and communicate with each other. And if you ever feel like they're getting uncomfortable, it's not a bad thing to ask them. Be like, is that okay? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going up their shirt and you see... You can tell, that like, maybe the arm is coming across their chest to, like, mm -hmm. kind of stop you from going further. You know, be like... Oh, I'm sorry. Is is that not all right? And she and they're like, no, it's fine. I was just itchy. You're like, okay, cool, great. Yeah. Um, because like, there's been a ton of times where I've um, I've been with a woman and and something would happen and I would have read that signal as like them stopping me from doing something. Uh, and then like later on, you know, either on another date or whatever, they'd be like, I don't know why you stopped. And I was like, well, because you put your hand over your shirt. And she was like. Oh yeah, no, I was just like fixing my belt or like, or I was just yeah. itchy or, and I was like, oh, okay, well I thought it was like a no thanks kind of thing. And I, um, so there's, there's a ton of things that can be misconstrued. So yeah. I was with a girl once is the best. and like things are going really well. I pretty much thought we were going to continue forward. And at one point, like went to like unbutton her trousers and she like stopped me. I was like, okay, cool. So we like continued to make out whatever. Next time we hung out same thing in that like we were again getting pretty hot and heavy but this time i didn't because i was like okay she didn't want the last time if she does i'm sure she'll take the reins yeah and she didn't so i was like yeah cool had a lot of fun next time same thing and at one point she was kind of like hey are we gonna like and i was like oh sorry like you, you stopped me before and like you know obviously at any point you could have tried to and she was like oh man i just had like this massive pimple on like my like where my tie meets my like <laughs> groin area and she was like i was just super self-conscious about it like it was just that one thing and i was like okay cool <laughs> Yeah. It was great. Again, like, yeah, I guess she didn't want to say that in the heat of the moment, which is fine. For but, sure. you know, the next two times she was wondering why I wasn't doing anything, but she also wasn't. So, like, again, don't feel afraid to try and take things in your own hands, ladies. But uh, Yeah, this is the thing. It's like, if you if you want something to happen and you're waiting on someone else to do it, it's <laughs> like, it's you, you're allowed to either ask for it or make the attempt yourself. Yeah. As again, long as you're, uh, cool about not it. being creepy and fucking weird. Be kind, people. Be good. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, oh, yeah. It's my turn. You know what? I'm, this is kind of a good segue. Uh, this was like a last minute question. And I'm going to... Agent Auburn. And she asks, what's our take on the new Gillette ad? I and, think... And more more so uh, the, the, the reaction to it. Ass, okay. Well, firstly, I think your Facebook post sums up pretty well. It's so annoying. Yeah. Um, so I, I made a post just being like, it's, it's funny 
And the, this happened with the fucking Nike Colin Kirkpatrick ad where it was like, um, the, the people, that's his name, right? Kaepernick, whatever. I, okay. What did I call him? Kurt Patrick? Kurt, 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 I don't know what <laughs> I don't you know. said. You, know what I, the, you are not cutting that out. Yeah, I'm not. No, I, I'm a basketball boy. No, I'm not. Well, um, we use all our analogies are basketball. Yeah. Got, don't be afraid to make that dunk. Get them oops. <laughs> make explosive dunks when she's sitting in your court. Yep. Through your quarter court. What the fuck? I don't know. Your three point, she's in your three point zone, bro. You got to alley oop for that explosive dunk. I don't think anyone's ever called a dunk explosive or I mean I'm sure someone has. What the hell's his name? Kaepernick, right? Yeah. Okay. Um Kaepernick. Uh and it, and it's like one of those things where it's like the people who are the most aggressive about people getting upset and like snowflakes, liberal snowflakes, liberal whatever are um, the people who get the most upset about the things. the most so like upset about the stupidest shit and be like Oh, we're boycotting Gillette because you know Gillette doesn't want us to be assholes anymore. But like, okay, that's that's the bit that fucking gets me. Is like, can you imagine, like, anything else in the world? Like, imagine if Gillette were like, you know what? I don't think we should murder people. Yeah. Would anyone be like, whoa, like get the fuck? Or it's like, you no, know people, what? People a hundred percent would. And here's the thing: I, is not it, not to the same extent because they wouldn't be allowed. It's not societally acceptable for them to be like, wait, murder's bad now. Yeah, but like that's the thing. If they were like, I don't think we should like as man. I don't think we should shoplift anymore. No one would be like, whoa. If it was like as man, I don't think we should like do animal abuse. No, we still would. It would. It would be some people. It would be the hashtag not all men again. But this is just such bullshit. My my problem is, uh, is the people who are. There's there's obviously the fucking idiots who are like, oh, I'm mailing all my Gillette razors back to Gillette to protest. It's like fuck those guys. They're already idiots. Mm-hmm. And there's, you know, more or less no saving them. Yeah. My problem is the people who agree with the message and are complaining about the delivery or the medium and people being yeah. like, this is all just a, a publicity stunt. It's like fucking, yeah, of course it is. Mm-hmm. It's an advertisement yeah, but also for a like, company that is trying to make a profit. I but get it. At the same time, they're also getting massive backlash for it, which like, I'm sure they didn't not take into account. You know what I mean? But it, it's one of those things it's like, you know, I mean, this ad was calculated you know what i mean yeah. like they but they, at the same time i'd rather them calculate a good ad and still make money off it than just be assholes that's the point it's you like I, mean? it, I don't give a shit what the company is yeah um and it's like great if it was something like you know i mean a, a company that uses slave labor again with the nike thing it's like if you have your problems with it have your problems with it. that's fine yeah, it's it's not but don't try it, to diminish it, the message you know what i mean like i one guy was like who's gonna watch that ad and and like change your life what's the what's the point who's this benefiting i'm like okay cool but like what 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 is your rhetoric who is that benefiting like Mm. you are currently just throwing your voice into the outrage against this yeah and people are just going to see that as you being against men being good not being fucking assholes so like if if you have a problem with the way it's delivered or the medium in which it's delivered yeah fucking fine that's like i get it you know what i mean like obviously i'm not like yeah but Gillette's the best company i'm not gonna go out and buy fucking gillette razors now i have no fucking brand loyalty to them now yeah but i can sit back as you know what i mean like a, a third party and someone who's removed from the situation and be like I agree with this message Mm -hmm. and I hope that other people see it and it inspires them. Yeah. Well, hopefully even if like this just starts a trend of advertising in this vein and then that just becomes the norm. Fucking great. But like, it's a bold move and it's good. You know what I mean? It's like, but again, I think where this hinges on like, and I think it's the very first thing I sent you from a listener about this show. And it wasn't even a listener. I don't know if he ever listened, but when I had talked about my podcast uh, or our podcast, and we'd post it up asking for questions. Remember a guy I knew, uh, fucking who, who's a lovely guy, who's, you know, a good person, uh, messaged me and was like, what the fuck? Like, I honestly, like, thought better of you, blah, 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 blah. Like, you're going to buy into this toxic masculinity shit? And I was like, what? And he's like, oh, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, men are the worst. Men are the problem with everything. And I was like, dude, like, do you know what the term, like, refers to? And he was like... And he didn't even know it was a term necessarily. And he just thought that like toxic masculinity was like men are the worst. Yeah. And I was like, no, like, and I started giving examples of like, you know, pickup artists, for example. I'm like, do you agree with that? And he's like, no, those guys are assholes. I'm like, yeah, that's toxic masculinity. He's like, well, no. And I'm like, no, but yes, like it's an actual term. And he's like, oh, and I like listed all these things. He's like, I agree with all these things. They should all be stopped. And, but yeah. then he was like, yeah, but then why are you attacking men? I'm like, I'm not attacking men. 
is just a terminology of how like bullshit like masculinity is being used to like promote these shitty ideals and all this stuff and it was really awful because this is a person who agrees with the message but just because of the name yeah of... the buzzword the yeah and I, I, like i posted on twitter today just being like we just need a new name for this like yeah. if, we, if we change the name it's the same thing with like why people get mad about feminism you know mm. what i mean like it's they think you, oh it's all for women it's you, like, no, you, you, you stop someone to be like hey do you believe in equal rights and equal pay and equal every you know what i mean like if you do you believe in just equality between the sexes and and you know the spectrum that it encompasses most people are going to say yes and if they don't they're fucking assholes and stop talking to them anyway because yeah. you're not going to change their mind but like nine times out of ten but then you switch the question you ask the same person a different person ask the same person be like hey are you a feminist they're like absolutely not no way i don't yeah. believe that shit and it's it's literally the 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 it's, terminology it's the sh- and yeah, the like connotations the of shitty that connections people make because they yeah. think feminine feminine women i'm not a woman this is against me yeah and you're like no like and then you take not like that us small and them, like bullshit yeah, you take that very small vocal minority of like, mm-hmm. yes, there are shitty feminists out there. You know yeah, what I mean? There are women out there everything. who think that men, all men should be castrated. Yeah, and don't it's like, get me started on that bullshit. But that's, again, that's not feminism. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? like, like at all. The worst thing is the people shouting the loudest are the people who are the biggest assholes. So it's mm-hmm. like that gives every good movement bad names because you have those fucking people. And like it's easy to share this batshit like everyone should be castrated thing. Yeah. Much more so than it is to be like, oh, look at this thing that's common sense. Like we should, you know, treat yeah. people equally. No one's gonna, no one's, no one's gonna, gonna share a moderate feminist post. Yeah. You know, no one, no, because it's, it's not groundbreaking. It it should be just common sense. Yeah, you know. Um, and that was the thing. It's like uh, one of the other things was uh, I saw a lot of people talking about with this ad was like, oh, now they're demonizing men. Now they're demonizing strong masculine men. I was like, like no point. Was I was that. like, I, yeah, I was like. Every person who said that, I was just like, point to me yeah. the strong masculine men in this commercial who are being demonized. Yeah. Is it the guy who's like sexually harassing his coworker? Is it the six kids beating up the yeah. one kid? Or is, is it, it the people who literally were strong enough to stand up and be like, hey, yeah. don't bully that I was kid. Like, and then it's like promoting people to be better. It's yeah, like, I was like, if anything, this is an ad like complimenting the men who are willing to stand up, stand up for strong. their ideals. Yeah. Because like... I'm not going to say, like, there's a lot of guys who will agree with this message, but when given the opportunity, won't do anything about it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because, like, either they don't want to embarrass their friend for calling them out for being, like, an asshole, yeah. shouting shit to women. You know what I mean? Like, I know a ton of guys, I like, I bartend. I sit at the bar and I will watch, like, two friends sit there and one of them will be a fucking asshole and will, like, constantly try to, like, talk to the girl next to him, talk to the girl mm-hmm. next to him. And the buddy is you so just embarrassed. See the embarrassed and I can, face, but they I don't can, do shit. But they don't say shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, that is kind of who this ad, I think, is targeting. Mm-hmm. People being like, you're in, you, you have the opportunity. Mm-hmm. If you just turn to your buddy and be like, Dude, hey stop. fucking chill yeah you know what i mean like if you want to talk to her that's fine but she doesn't want to talk to you so yeah, like and take your loss that and- happens five times that guy's probably gonna stop doing it like yeah and this is the thing it's like i was again I, I told you this the other day there was a guy uh who was at my bar and he was like he was saying like really toxic shit about a woman he was either in a really i don't know the relationship mm-hmm. but it, she, he was texting or calling her or something and this guy who had no relation to him whatsoever beside him on the bar just turned him and he was just like hey man you uh, seem to have a lot of pent up aggression, and it seems to be directed strictly towards women, and that uh, that behavior is really toxic. And then proceeded to talk to this guy for like almost like an hour and a half, two hours. This guy's the best. And Whoever just, he like, is, I hope he's listening. And just and, like, tore this guy apart in in a very like respectful, very like, sort not of like, aggressive. calm. Yeah. So like anytime the guy would be like, yeah, but this bitch, and he's like, well, let's not call her a bitch first. He's he's like, regardless of what she's done to you, regardless of her demeanor, let's call her a woman. Um, and, and let's ag- address her aggression. Um, because right now, uh, anything you're doing right now could be described as being an asshole. Mm. So if, unless, unless you're cool with the term asshole, like don't call her a bitch. Um, and I was just like, you, I don't know where you're from. I don't know where you, where you came from, but we need more of you. Mm. And he was like, just a welder or something, wasn't he? He was, was like, like a steel worker. He wasn't worker, even yeah. like a psychologist. Yeah, no. He, had, he, <laughs> he had sounds no- like, uh, you know. TV therapist. Yeah, no, he was he was like, he was super smart, he was super articulate, he was super patient. Mm-hmm. Um and he was he was uh he was like, Yeah, I don't have any background in this. He's yeah, like, cause it just... sounds like he's like trained in it, right? Like yeah. the way he handled the situation. hundred percent would have thought he had some sort of degree in psychology. Yeah. Um, but the way that he he talked. And I was just like, 
Fuck, my dude. Yeah, we need more people like that. Yeah, so like, I think I think that would be like my take from this ad is like, it's just encouraging men who are who have the possibility to stop this from happening to like t- take that to chance do that, to be better. Yeah, um, and, and like, also just being like, yo, know, bullying someone and like sexually harassing someone, not cool. So like, get the like stop. It's yeah. It's outdated bullshit that's like, if anyone at this point thinks that's cool, like you're a dumbass. If yeah. you think that the ad is spouting a bad, bad message, you're a dumbass. Like you could, you don't have to pretend that it's not to make Gillette money. Like we're all aware that it's an advertisement. That's the point, right? Yeah. But at the same time, I'd rather they do that with a good message than not. It was like when everyone you know was... what I mean? Like, why the fuck would you, why would you be upset about this? A company's always going to try and make fucking money. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? That's stupid. It's like uh, my bank always, like, almost year-round has pride shit up, always. Yeah. Um, and I can't remember what the fuck commercial was that had, like, got all that backlash years ago about uh, the interracial couple. And there was, like, the gay interracial couple, like, that had a kid. And, like, people losing their shit. And everyone's just like, what the fuck is wrong deal with, with it. These, these people? people exist in the world. Yeah. I don't care if you don't want to see it. And I don't care if you have to explain to your kid that, like... Uh, why this person has two dads because guess what that kid is probably at some point in time going to come into contact with someone who is gay I dare say so Um, or someone who is dating someone that isn't the same color as them also they're probably not going to be as shit as you so the the sooner you step up and like be a good parent to your kids the less often they're going to be like oh fuck I don't want to go home for Thanksgiving dinner yeah because my my girlfriend is black yeah exactly right they lost their shit over to Cheerios commercial yeah like don't be those dickheads it's not that fu- this is the fucking it's not that fucking hard it's not it's just not that fucking hard to take half a second and just not be a piece of shit like how does this ad negatively impact your life and that's and that's my thing I'm just like what I understand that like you're upset for something for some reason no, it's but just, people- just just tell me what bad this ad is going to do. Yeah. And also, if you're going to get upset about things, be fucking specific. Don't just be like, oh, it's the message. What message? What makes you feel this way? What? Because no one can answer this shit. Because no, they have no valid fucking points. Anytime anyone was like, oh, it demonizes strong masculine Go men. Go for it. Which bit? Please, tell me. Yeah, who? Pick, when, where? Pick one guy. Yeah. The poor male just trying to yell about a girl's legs on the street. Like, come on. where? Yeah. where the, what about the cat callers, man? Where do they fit into this new fucking society, so, man? So, funny enough, when I was uh, browsing for questions, uh, the seduction subreddit, of course, had a big problem with his... Uh, with the beta cock-blocking his friend trying to do approach on the street. I was Aww. like, I'm not even... I, like, I read the post, and I read the first, like, three comments, and I was like, I'm just... I'm not... I yeah. can't hand my blood pressure cannot deal with this bullshit today. Um on this on this note, this guy posted up in the seduction subreddit how I start conversations effortlessly effortlessly and get numbers and other tips by Bruce Wayne eighty nine. Bruce Wayne? Yeah. Oh, and, that's like uh, his username. I thought it was like his pickup name. One way to start a conversation with a girl is to walk up and say, Who do you think would win in the fight? Me or your boyfriend? Uh, like, just a quick side note. Just, I once went on a date where her whole goal was for me to fight her boyfriend. That's was that like your... it ended with her leading me to her boyfriend and being like, this guy's going to fight you. And I was just like, no, I'm not. And he's like, what the hell's going on? Like, like he wasn't even a piece of shit. It wasn't like this was like what they yeah. did. He was just like, what? I was like, I, I met her on fucking, I think it was okay. Cupid. And mm. he was like, What? <laughs> And she was like, what are you going to do about it? And we're like, nothing. Oh, and then we both just left. <laughs> I, hope, I hope she got dumped like right then. I fucking hope so. Um, okay, you ready? Yeah. So you know, you know a post is good when it has to start with, in brackets, this is serious? Yes. Uh, I'm not even going to read you the title because I don't want to give away what happens. Okay. So tiny bit of backstory. My girlfriend of six months Love hor- loves horses, has all her life. An additional, seemingly relevant point is, during sex she sometimes says stuff like, fuck me with that horse cock. I've never thought much of it. I thought that was just a way of her saying it's big. But she started to take it, take it further, and it's turned into a bit of a fetish that I'm not entirely comfortable with. A few days ago, she told me she wanted to roleplay, and at first I was pretty on board, but then she said, as horses. 
I laughed, thinking it was a joke, and she took it the wrong way and said she was tired and went to sleep. Yikes. I said, fuck it, and trying to make her feel better, she said I'd do it the following day. Honestly, it was okay, but very, very weird. She got so into it and said it was the best she ever had, and next time wanted to buy costumes. Yes. And maybe do it on some hay. I told her no, and I didn't want to do it again, and she's back to being mad at me. Am I being a dick here? I don't know what to do. Sorry, just wanted a second opinion. Um, the only costume you need are those fucking rubber horse masks. That's the thing. That's all I'm imagining that they have. Honestly, like, like just walk into the bed with that fucking fucking bad boy, and like, no one could take you seriously. Uh, uh, d- this girl can. Yeah. I will bet you fucking money. Cause what the fuck else would she have in mind? <laughs> that. I'm also thinking, like, you know the two-person horse costumes? Or, like, the back legs on one person? I do want to role-play as a single horse? As a single horse <laughs> while fucking. <laughs> well, that's actually... That's a thing about nature, is the back half of a horse is continuously fucking the front half. Yeah. Inside. That's why they... And that's how horses, like... That's how new horses are born. They don't, mm-hmm. like, get pregnant. They just oh, no. split in half. They do, yeah. And then find a new front horse and back horse. Yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's fucked up. Firstly... How do you role play sex as horses? Do you just do doggy style? That's do you get a breeder thing. to introduce you to? Like Dante comes in and he just like starts pushing you together. Like, do you? Yeah, I can't. I mean, like, do you, do you fall walk asleep ar- standing up? Do you walk around for a while and just like? Well, that's the thing. Is it just doggy style with neighing? I, I mean, I guess. Like, I've never seen a horse fuck, but I imagine it's like like the the male is like upright almost, like on its hind legs. Like, that's how it's got to go, I guess, right? Yeah. So, like, my my dude, that's just doggy style. I know. Like, that, that's easy to do. And if she wants to neigh, like, sure, I guess. Yeah. This is kind of fucking weird. Your just neighbors like, are going to be like, oh, it's them. Oh, God. But, like, also the hay. What I love is the amount of people in the comments are like, don't do it on hay. It's a bad call. Don't do it on hay. Hay is real bad. So many people. So yeah. many people. Don't do it on hay. You'll get real itchy, and you'll get... Also, like, how much fucking hay? Like, are you going to go to a stables? I once said sex in stables, but not on the hay. But seriously, what the fuck? Yeah. You're just going to pile hay on your bed in your room? Or are you going to go to an... it's, like, kind of like a bed for disease. Yeah, and, like, dead animals and bugs and shit. Yeah. Like, rats, like... No, you want wheels disease? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, you're literally going to get, like, a turn-of-the-century disease if you do this. Mm-hmm. And also, like, I think the most important, like, it, it's, obviously, it's kind of bizarre. Um, firstly, beware of people who love horses. That's going you know, un- <laughs> to be an unpopular opinion, but that's my truth. I've lived it. No, I'm, I'm semi-joking. I think the issue here, and it's easy to look over because of how some of it is funny, it's like he's literally not comfortable with it and being browbeaten into doing it and he doesn't want to do it and she's getting pissy at him. That's not okay. Yeah, this is this ties back to the fucking blueberry thing yeah. where like it's sexual manipulation. This is like pretty much abuse. Yeah, like you just need to look at her and say nay. <laughs> you need to tell her to stop horsing around. You need to bail out of there. <laughs> Real hard. You need to Fetlock her out of her own room. You don't have enough horse knowledge to... Fetlock yourself in your room until you're safe. You don't give one bit of it. You need to main up. <laughs> Rain her in. <laughs> or she just saddle up and do it. Yeah. Uh, boy. Okay, go for it. Um, okay. I actually responded to this post on Reddit, and it wouldn't let me post, and it made me so mad because I feel like this guy just needed to hear this. Why wouldn't it let you post? I don't know. It just kept being like, something's wrong. Oh, that sucks. Like, God damn it. I wrote a big fucking thing, too. Um, this comes from Massacan00. Do I even count as a virgin anymore? <laughs> if you gotta ask, bruh. So I'm a 28 male, and I'm still a virgin. This was mostly by choice, as I wanted to make sure I got my act together before I started going around. You know, school, have money, worked on my personality. Mm, We'll get to that. (laughs) And during that time, despite me me having no experience, I'm quite knowledgeable in regards to sex, such as positions, what to do to pleasure a woman, as well as becoming open-minded about various sexual acts. A.K.A., I basically have the mentality of a man-slut. 
<laughs> well, then I got to thinking, do I even count as a virgin anymore? Just due to the fact that I would likely be viewed as a pervert. I know... What? I don't understand that part. I know to many here this sounds like a stupid question, but it's been on my mind for a while. He then later on goes to clarify. Um, he knows this sounds like a stupid question, but it's not. But I was thinking, under the mindset that you aren't clueless about what will happen, and in some cases know more about sex than one who is more experienced. Like, I wonder how many experienced people know about the 48 positions in the Kama Sutra. Oh, man. I can't wait till this person has sex for the first time, and it just doesn't go very well. And he's like, but all the reading! <laughs> but all those Cosmo quizzes I did! Oh, I bet you that's where he got it all. He's gonna, like, bite her ear while, like, yeah. uh, humming a nursery rhyme. He's just gonna finger his own asshole. Because that's, like... Oh, yeah. That's everything Cosmo tells you to do. He's just gonna be like, I know everything about his sex. <laughs> just, like, just get up in there. And, they're, hey. and like, they're gonna be like, no, that's... You're still a virgin. I think you're masturbating. Yeah, you're just fingering your own asshole right now. Yeah. Um, he also, like, there was just a bunch of comments where he would be like, um, someone was just like, man, you're 28 and you're still a virgin. Like, that's just the reality of things. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's that doesn't change. And he's like, um, someone was like, I'm 18 and I'm still a virgin. It's like, whatever. And the guy was like, well, tell me honestly, would you fuck someone who made under 20K a year? Mm. And so, like, he's so, like... He sounds like a... He has the every, like, indicator of being a sociopath. Uh, yeah, I, like, ironically, he sounds like he has no idea whatsoever. But also, okay, let's let's look at the positives. He's, he's saying that, like, virginity, it doesn't really matter. And that's true. It doesn't really matter. That's about the only positive. Like, he, he's looking past but virginity it's, it's, as being a big deal. Although, ironically, he's making it even more of a he's, big deal. He's not doing that, though. He's making was, it a was, very big deal. I was trying to make it a good thing. No, he's he's like, I, also, he's so desperate to not be a virgin yeah. that he's made up this crazy-ass scenario in which, because he knows the fundamentals of how sex works... Yeah, he's not a ...that virgin. he's not a virgin. It's like, yeah. that's... It's like, I know how pianos work... <laughs> I'm not a fucking piano player. Uh, I know. I know the I rules for football. Mozart. I'm not a fucking football player. Clearly, we both know basketball. Yeah, and are real. I am a b-ball boy. We are the b-ball boys. And I'm not a baller. I wouldn't call myself a baller. <laughs> Just... <laughs> don't ever put yourself down like I'm that. I'm just you don't kidding. Need... I'm fucking. I'm a you baller. You don't need that negativity I'm in your life, baller. Dane. You, you, you a baller? Hold me. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, it's just like, what, man? Like, uh, <laughs> chill first. Secondly, money has no no bearing on any of that shit. Yeah, I mean, like, like the most sex I ever had was when I was f so poor. But also, like, like what are you going to be like, oh, hey, like, wow, I'm getting on really well with you, and uh, what do you make? What's your income give tax? Me that, give me that give wallet. Me, let me see your Log income tax. Log onto your man. fucking online banking yeah. right now, and let me see the What's trend your of tax? your income. <gasps> How much sex you pay last year, girl? Last week. Last week, girl. Yeah. How much tax? Like, yeah. what the fuck? Do, do you count her assets? Like, is it just straight up cash? Well, that's like... What like, if she makes 20 grand? What if she makes 20 grand, but has a home and a car and a, two horses that Dante is constantly introducing each other to? So there's probably a fall on the way. That's two and a half horses. It's a great show. Hey, uh, to the last question. Don't fall into her trap. Oh! Hey... Yeah, it sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> um, yeah, no, this guy, like, it, like it's... She doesn't sound very stable. <laughs> <laughs> nailed it. Um, I mean, like, yeah, you, you nailed it when you... Like, he's going to get, like, his first sexual experience is going to be a fucking train wreck. Because mm -hmm. he's going to be like... I'm going to do this position, I'm going to do this mm -hmm. position, I'm going to do that position, then I'm going to finish it off with also, my big like, trick, and he's going to get inside and be like, Ugh! Yeah. And be like, oh. Or she's going to be like, dude, like, can we just stay in one place? Yeah. Can like, you stop you trying to fit fucking all 48 bend me? positions in to the 48 seconds you're going to last? Also, a lot of those positions, like... Don't you need to be, like, really trained for some of them? They're, like, like near yoga-style yeah. positions. Also, a lot of that is, like, tantric sex, which is not sex. Yeah, like, the the funny thing is, is, like, the Kama Sutra is not, like, a sexual supplement. It literally is, like, a guide on, like, healthy le well-being and, like, finding your soulmate mm -hmm. and, like, nurturing your life through love and, therefore, through sex. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, like, a... 
a fucking like sex Man position. Died. Yeah, like th- that's not what it is. So like he's he just has such a strange. I think he has no idea about anything. Yeah, he has such a strange like perspective on how on what sex is, what it means, and like how it works. Yeah. That, but also like if you feel this so strongly yet are so like insecure about this that you have to go to the internet like that's the thing because he feels this so strongly but he also needs the validation yeah so I, strongly that like 100 both those things are like internet differently like yeah. and, the, and like that's how delusioned he is yeah you know what i mean like or delusional he is is that like he thought he was gonna go on reddit and people are gonna be like yeah man you're oh shit you're, boy you're, you're i'm gonna just upgrade you to black belt sex like, black belt you're like a double anti-virgin yeah like you did you did you just erase virginity from existence all hail our lord and savior Jesus. whatever the fuck his weird name was i bet it's yeah it's uh, daddy sex cool massacan zero zero mm-hmm. he's got that maso can um yeah no it's just like firstly virginity doesn't matter man if you're a virgin if you're not like fucking chill secondly like money doesn't fucking matter chill thirdly like just go out and have fun man like yeah i i totally by all means like research and by all means care about someone's pleasure but don't make it into this weird superiority thing that you seem to have that's the thing is like especially you're when so you arrogant about it and you yeah. haven't accomplished anything yeah like i could i could literally like take a sport i could take anything take well, any, you know any we, sort of like pastime and i could dive into it we know quite a bit about podcasting so we're kind of the most popular podcast in the world yeah. Te- it's like, like technically i know all about how to grow an audience. I know all about how to maintain an audience. I yeah. know how to satisfy an audience. I know about how a microphone works. We would never record an episode on our laptop. Like, yeah. Right? Like, yeah. because I know so much about how a microphone works, then technically that episode never was not great quality, was it? <laughs> um, it's like, oh man, Just, I, I, like, you know I don't think I've ever wanted to see a person have sex before. <laughs> More than this guy's, like I, I want to see. see that. Oh man, it's gonna feel be like so good. It would Just look the, exactly the look on like, his face when he comes in thirty I, seconds. I feel like he's gonna probably snap and kill himself or somebody after. Like I feel like this is only gonna get worse when the first yeah. one doesn't go that well. Like, and that's and, why, like, I'm I really like, want to like, I really wanted to ground him. Oh my god, I realized why I couldn't post because we're banned from sex. <laughs> god damn it, <laughs> sex Reddit. This is what you did. When when this goes south, this is on you. This is on you, moderator from Sex Reddit who wouldn't unban us. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Um, maybe I'll message him. Yeah. Send him like, a private message. Yo. Like, please, please, I don't want to embarrass you, but let me let me yeah. just school you. We, we because don't... like, I've had sex a lot. Wait, what? You've had sex? Um, I mean, like, I haven't, but I've read about it, so I'm yeah, we, pretty much yeah. not ever. No, we've been like, this is how we we've. I'm so good at, like, I haven't even had sex, but, like, I'm on a sex and dating advice podcast. Like, I'm basically not a virgin, right? Um, right? I, I still right? Right? find things, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm still learning things. And also, like, and, like every single person is so different. Yeah. But it's like, like, you might know where the clit is on a fucking picture. What? I'm clapping for him. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were clapping for, because I said clit. I was like... Oh, it's your trigger. No, um, no I just like, good, good job, man. Cool. Yeah, it's like, great. But like, the second it's just your tongue figuring out where yeah. it is on a woman that you've never met before. Your tongue like, don't have eyes. Good luck. The hills might, but your tongue doesn't. And it's like, yeah, you, you can generally know what's up down there. But like, again, like, I've, yeah, it, I've, it, I've gone down on my fair share of ladies and like, Everyone is different. Totally every, different. Every like, it still takes a couple seconds yeah. to be like, let me figure out where this is. Yeah, and like how you like it as well. Some people are like, yeah, just get in there, like get forceful. Yeah. Some people's like, yo, super light, don't even touch it directly, just play with the hood. Yeah. Some people, it's like, fucking get down, like into it, like just go, mm-hmm. go to town, like. And the thing is, is like, this guy, you're gonna, like he's gonna go with also, a girl who's gonna be like, oh, I'm not really into getting oral. Sorry, it's just not my thing. Mm-hmm. Or and like, be, uh, even that, even cool. just the the physical nature of it is like, your tongue is going to get tired as fuck because you've never done it before. Uh, you don't know. Maybe he's doing tongue articulation I exercises. I fucking hope so. He's Can you? Like I'm the... going to message him that. I'm going to ask him. I'm like, cool. I see you have the mental aspect down, but physically, like, have you been doing the sickest, most amazing ab workouts? Have you been crushing bare weights with your tongue? Yeah. Have you? Like. Okay, what can you lift with Please your tongue? Please get what on, can like, you your, lift with your tongue? on your knees, 
while your legs spread no, and then like and lie then down and, and thrust whilst like you know yeah. like it's lie down on your front arch your neck up as much as you can to a painful angle crank your jaw and your tongue stick them out like try not to choke in your own saliva while going to town maybe she's a squirter get someone to spray water yeah. in the back of your throat while you're trying to do that and then fight off multiple legs get like a legs. bristle brush just in case she's a she's yeah. an unshaven lady yeah. just tickle them in your nose yeah. try not to fucking sneeze exactly. in that vagina <laughs> Dane is not good at that part right <laughs> fight fair, she was shaving I just had to sneeze yeah that's fair fight off some fucking bucking legs and hips get hit in the face with hips you know a hip bone is pretty hard get yeah. that to the face bro and see how well those tongue pull ups are gonna fucking do you yeah you're fucked but not really cause you're over no um like and it sucks because the researching and the caring about pleasure that that's positive yeah but uh, the thinking that it makes you an the, export in the in yeah. a field that you have no experience in mm-hmm. is crazy. And the worst part is, I feel like it's going to lead to more negativity is the worst part. Like, I don't see him then having any kind of sexual interaction and being like, oh, I'm being humble instead of just being angry. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Or it's like, like, it's someone else's fault. It's going to be one of those things where like, his his first sexual experience is probably going to be a disaster. Like, yeah, or even I mean? just like, or just hey, underwhelming. No, there's no way it's not going to be a disaster because even if it goes well, his fucking metric is out of this fucking, yeah, like the realms of sense. Like, he thinks it's going to be like, like, yeah, he thinks he's going to like last for, you know, the, yeah, her the, vagina's just going to like spot. melt. She's going to just like, be he'll like have cured coming. It. He'll have solved that vagina. It'll yeah. cease to exist. And she'll be like, <gasps> You finally did it. You did it. My liege. <laughs> and it just like floats into just, the sky. <laughs> He's single handedly just going to rapture the world with his dick. Yeah. Um, but it's like it's not going to happen and like no. he's probably not going to last very long probably not and he's going to like both either of them are he's not going to last very long or he's just going to not be able to get up because that's just like pretty common brah yeah like it's uh, especially when you're this up in your head man we need to take this guy under our wing does he li- it's, like we need to fucking message him and just fuck him <laughs> um, it's one of those things where like it's you have to like when it gets to a point where you just have to be humble and honest like I like I think about again I, I'm not a woman so I'm trying to empathize I'm here what? but like if 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 I was a woman and this guy was like hey just so you know uh, I'm a virgin um, so let, like you know help me out or like I mm-hmm. can we take it a little slow at, at start and, and see what happens as opposed to being like hey I know 48 positions in the Kama Sutra. Like, fucking buckle up. I'm going to blow your goddamn mind. Like, yeah. even if you were right, like, even if you do those things, most women are going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah. I feel feel bad for this guy. I know. And, it, and like, it's just one of those things where I'm just, like, I just want to be like, just chill. Yeah. Just like, like this, isn't, give this isn't your fucking personality, and this isn't, like, the core of your being. No. Just embrace who it's, you are. It's a fun You're thing. You're a 28-year-old virgin. Fuck Deep it. breathe. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're gonna find someone. Anyone who's gonna want to sleep with you is gonna be cool with the fact that like you're a virgin. Yeah. And, and if they're not, it's like, fuck it. Oh you well. Won't, yeah. You probably won't be a virgin then afterwards. Or like you'll find somebody. Like it'll be fine. And then like, you'll you'll get good or better. And like hell yeah, maybe you'll be better off the most at the start. But like, you're not like fucking sex god. Yeah. Or maybe he is. Maybe he is. That's the thing, right? Yeah, We're saying this. Little thing. Maybe he's just a fucking sex protege. Yeah, like that's the thing. He's gonna sh- like he's gonna message us in three days and be like, "Hey," and he's just gonna show us picture of like, yeah, just, Cincinnati destroyed in yeah. mo- like just wave just of euphoria of orgasms, and he's yeah. gonna be like, "Wow, like I'm sorry, guys. I literally like I warned you. This wasn't me being arrogant. This was like <laughs> a public safety announcement. Like I'm I was sorry. telling you to clear like, the area. Cl- like I'm just so sexy. I, like we didn't even get to 38. It's 48. The, the See, this is how the bad best sex thing is, I, I, I looked it up, that. and there's actually 64 positions in oh, the Kama Sutra. No. I was like, Please tell me that was your only comment. Uh, no, it was one of my burns. Um, okay, we need to... <laughs> no, we're we're going to... You ready for this? Yeah. Do you have another question? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It, it, I don't oh. know where we're going to go with this. Maybe, maybe I should save it. I don't know. Guy, so I'm a 25-year-old female dating a 23-year-old guy, found out he's kept his ex's used tampons. 
Okay, you're really going to have to go with me here. I still can't quite get my head around it. I was at this guy's apartment after we'd seen the movie. He went out to get us some condoms as he realized he didn't have any. I know it's bad to snoop, but I felt like I wanted to get him knowing better. And you know what? Usually I'd say, don't do that. But after this, I'm like, shit, maybe it's a good thing you snooped. Maybe just snoop. snoop Everyone snoop. Ev- like, fuck, snoop. snoop right just now. Snoop, 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 dog. It's your bird. Anyway. No. What the hell was that? I don't know. Uh, we have only been seeing each other three and a half weeks. Long story short, I opened the bedside table drawer next to his bed, which had a clear jar in it with four used tampons in it. Obviously, at this point, I froze, trying to find a logical explanation as to why they could be there. He gets back. I confront him about it. He really went off at me about snooping, but eventually said they were his ex's tampons, and he's got a thing for periods. Worst part is, she doesn't even know he used to fish them out of the bin to keep so we could look at them later. Obviously, I'm not seeing him again, but do I tell his ex what I found? I know who she is. I feel like I have some sort of responsibility to tell her. Yeah, I would. That's kind of scary. Yeah. I don't know. Is that just me? No. Is that fair to say? That's terrifying. That's serial killer shit. It'd be no different than like if like if you used and I condoms like, you know what I mean? Something. Like if I looked at my bedside table and Amanda had her ex's used condoms, I'd be like <laughs> what the fuck is that? Like yeah. that that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not like, about this. It's terrifying. Do does she tell the ex? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. It's one of the like here's I, yeah, I don't know. For I mean, me, like, it's like it, it, part of me is like, yeah, Warner, because he might go eat her. That's that's my but thing. Like, it's like I think it's more of a safety message as opposed to her like being like, yo, your ex yeah. keeps your bloody period. It's it's more like this guy's like I feel yeah like it's I, it's weird. Again, I, I, every time I see something like this, part of me is like, yo, don't king shame. But like I I don't know. This just seems seems really off to me. Also, like it'd be one thing if he was like, hey. I like them and can I have them? And she was like, sure. That would be one thing. Yeah. She's like, he's like sniping them out the bin. It's kind of creepy. And also like, how long ago did they break up? How old is it? Uh, it's is been it... three and a half weeks of them hanging out. So I'm assuming at least three and a half weeks, which I'm going to point out is maybe too long to have used tampons well, what I'm chilling. Thinking is like who, I don't know, like who's like dating like right up, you know what I mean so there's probably like yeah a gap but and even like, if there wasn't three and a half weeks of old blood but what I'm saying is is like like is he like breaking in you know like how is oh, he like how fresh? is he getting ooh. them oh ooh, I didn't even think about that and that, like that's that's why I would be like yo just so you know like like again I don't know the decomposition period that yeah of period blood and and tampons and shit like that but yeah. like i imagine if they were like if there was a, a a long enough period of time that they would mold or something right yeah, it's fucking horrific um i don't know so i i yeah i don't know i don't really know yeah, what uh I'm sorry i saw that one and i was just i had to but yeah no 100 percent. i would i would warn this poor ex and be like hey just so you know uh like, is he going through the fucking trash outside? I don't know. I thought it was, like, when she was over at his. That's what I just assumed. Yeah. Because that's the best case in this worst case scenario. And, like, I feel like this is one of the easiest things to satisfy and being, like, just have sex when she's on her period. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you're into, yeah, to if she's periods, into that, yeah. and, you know what I mean? Like, most women tend to get more... Yeah, they're, like, more sensitive or yeah. whatever, so it's like So it's, like, if, find someone who's cool with that, because a lot of people are. And, like, yeah. that's cool. But, like, that's weird. Yeah. Like that, and like, again, if it was with consent, that would be okay, at least at the top end, but like, to then keep them, and they're in your bedside, fucking, like, they're not even like hidden, they're just like right there. Yeah. For ease of jerking it, I'm sure. Also, like, if you kept condoms, would you not keep them in your bedside table? It's not like, they wouldn't have just, like, be like, oh, hold on, let me get one of these condoms. (laughs) maybe oh is that a jar of tampons yeah don't worry about it what if he kills people that's his token like his like little fucking power like his thing you know they're fucking trophies oh and she it's found like Assassin's it Creed instead of the white white feather it's the yeah. he just puts a tampon just like or he just kills people on the period but maybe that's oh. his thing and he gets caught and he's like okay one way I get go down for murder another way it's like she thinks I'm a fucking weirdo yeah I'm just he's a like, creepy oh, ex he's like oh I stole them goes talks to her ex she's like we saw each other for three weeks, none of which are on my period. <gasps> you fucking caught a serial killer. What would his name be? Um, Bloody Mike. Ooh, yeah. Bloody Mikey. Bloody Gary. Bloody Gary. 
Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, we need to wrap. Okay, we'll even do sex writing this week. Yeah, we have to do sex writing. I don't know which one to do. <laughs> it's like almost like we don't do this every week. Yeah, but like... All right, you figured out. I'm going to get comfortable. We had, that, <sighs> we had that one year that was like gold. And then the next years aren't so good. I'm already comfortable, so I don't care what you're saying. This is back from 2015, and it's List of the Lost by Morrissey. Oh, shit. At this, Eliza and Ezra rolled together into the one giggling snowball of full-figured copulation, screaming and shouting as they playfully bit and pulled at each other in a dangerous and clamorous roller coaster coil of sexually violent rotation with Eliza's breast barrel rolled across Ezra's howling mouth and the pain frenzy of his bulbous salutation extenuating his excitement as it whacked and smacked its way into every muscle of Eliza's body except for the otherwise central zone. I'm trying to... Did you want me to do that again? Because nope. it was one sentence. I'm trying to, like, get that mental image, and I just... All I'm seeing is someone just titty slapping someone. But, like, he's also whacking and smacking his dick into every muscle of her body, except for the otherwise central zone. Does that mean, like, he's just not... This is exactly how that guy's first sexual experience is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he just fucked up, and instead of, like, Kama Sutra positions, he's got, like nerves from like you know martial arts he's yeah. just gonna hit you in the dick and like every one of your nerves like oh my arm yeah girl she screamed or their pleasure night. points mm-hmm. I'm a, that's why he's a virgin he I'm, doesn't need to get inside you he's just gonna whack you with his dick in the I'm right spot beat your chakras with my bulbous salutation progenitor <laughs> <laughs> oh boy I think that's gonna do it for us today guys yeah guys it's been a, it's been a wild ride this week I don't it know it sure has um, um, we love you we do love you uh, send in those questions keep them coming um, if you could let, let a friend know let someone know post about us on Facebook we're trying to you know get more people in we we have a fucking sick crew following us you guys are the best but uh, we need we need to bring more people in we need to stop people from doing all this dumb shit we just talked about yeah also if you see one of us out and about in the wild <laughs> feel free to come by and say hello yeah you creep <laughs> No, go say hi. We're we're always going to be cool about it. Yeah, it would like literally make my day. Yeah. And we appreciate each and every listen. Um, Thank you, Josh Eagle and the Harvest City for Song Paper Stars. Yeah. You did Thanks. it. Thanks. Uh, he's Thanks. actually going on tour. He's like moving uh, to LA or something like that. So uh, if you're in his neighborhood. Walk up to him and mispronounce his name. He loves it. That's why yeah. I always do it. It's, uh, our, it's our cute little thing. So yeah, do go check him out if you can. Um, I posted a thing on Twitter about his little tour. If you have a question, you can uh, email us at fbuddiespodcast at gmail.com. Yeah, or you can find us on Twitter. At Facebook. <laughs> nope. <laughs> at FCK underscore buddies. Um, you can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash FCK buddies podcast. All right, wrap this boy up with a Dan. Oh, okay. You ready? Just to round off. A pretty heavy episode with some pretty horrible things. Uh, oh, wait. Dan, where'd you go, you little slippery bastard? Oh, also, Dan hasn't posted at all this year. Do you think someone was like, hey, maybe listen to the last like 20 seconds of this podcast? And he was like, oh, shit, I fucking suck. Because I think he's charging up. I think this is going to be like a Dragon Ball Z situation where he's... We haven't met his final form. Yeah, he's just going to not going to do anything for like a couple of weeks, and then he's just going to be like, spirit bomb of shit. Well, Dan has a blog post called, I choked my girlfriend out of anger and she dumped me. My name is Dave Miller. What the fuck? My name is Niles, babe. And we're your fuck buddies. And Dan should fucking... God damn it. Fuck. Ugh. Okay, bye.